So first things first, we have a new Flutter SDK. So Flutter developers, uh, we, we hear you, you know, it's getting more and more popular. Um, we may even be using Flutter to create our own mobile app in the background to learn more. Uh, but point being is we have a first class Flutter SDK that does uh, error monitoring and release help uh, with performance coming soon at some point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and showcase this. We'll go ahead pretty quickly here. So let's go to the docs here, go to Flutter. Our SDK docs now have uh, these features at the top, which really helps you understand what's going on. So in addition to surfacing issues within Dart, we also will surface issues in the Java Kotlin layers and C++ for Android, and for iOS, the Objective-C, C, Swift, and the C layer as well. In mobile, you're obviously going to have the offline storage of events because we don't know if you have a connection or not. The context will be set as such, and breadcrumbs will capture X8, uh, will capture uh, uh, via the native SDKs via Android and iOS, as well as the HTTP requests via Dart. And obviously, you can customize the breadcrumbs. Release help is going to be included by default here with uh, Flutter under the hood. So just go ahead, upgrade, and and you'll see sessions. Uh, uh, being sent up as well. And there is just some requirements here. So how do I get implemented? I'm going to showcase this in my app as well, in addition to the docs. So in pubspec.yaml, just specify our SDK. And then in your main, we're going to do sentry.init and the DSN, and then things will be sent up here. So if I go ahead and take a look here, here is the configuration here. I have some of the variables set up here. And then in my pubspec.yaml, I have Sentry SDK specified here. So now that all of that's configured, uh, we can just show that release help is also on. It's going to be on by default. And if you want to disable it, you can do so by setting this to false as well. Alrighty, so now that this is configured, let's just go to Sentry and take a look at a few different Dart issues. So if I go ahead to releases, um, I mean Flutter, sorry about that. Let's go to our Flutter project here. Now clicking on this, I can see that I have some issues and here is my release health information. And let's go to the issues page for further debugging here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up some of these. And what we can see here is here's one occurring at the Kotlin layer. Here's a stack trace. All of the context is you as expect. Here's one occurring at the native layer where it's crashing within some C++ code and it's been symbolicated. And here is the, sim uh, the, the symbols that were applied and then we have our Dart code as well. So you'll see the, the stack trace that you expect as well. Here's a more fulfilling Dart stack trace as well. 